Hi all, it's CJ here. Just popped on to wish you all a very happy Easter. Puppy dog barking at something. Um, and just to say if any of you are on your own today, I feel your pain. <laughs> um, I am struggling with being on my own. I spent Christmas on my own. Uh, Christmas just gone. I was on my own for the first time since I've been born. I was by myself. And that was really hard. <laughs> really, really hard. Um, today I'm on my own, but the sun's shining, so that's that that for me that really helps um i just did a whole video and i'd got a can of coke um by the microphone and because this microphone is so good and picks up everything all you could hear was the bubbles popping on the um can of coke all the way through and of course, being the idiot I am, I didn't realise uh, that it was picking it up. So I've been struggling to make videos. No, correct that. I've been struggling. I, I've filmed about six videos. And I know this sounds ridiculous but I don't feel confident enough to put them up. And I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure why... Why? I mean, I've put tons of videos out. I've got about six, as I say. Um, took puppy dog back to the vets he's still not right and had a road rage incident coming back and I made a video about that and then thought who wants to hear that and I can't remember what what the other videos are about right now but just convinced myself that well he wants to hear that he wants to hear that you know so if any of you are by yourselves And, and you you don't mind it, how do you cope? Because when I was raising my, my two children, um, as most of you will know, I raised my children on my own. And when I was raising them, I was making new traditions because I wasn't raised with any. So I would always make a big fuss at Christmas and Easter time. Presents were at a minimum. I've struggled financially uh, since I've been on my own. <laughs> and still am. So presents weren't... It wasn't about presents. It was about having a lovely home-cooked roast dinner. At Christmas time, I always did a quiz, and I would write the quiz myself, rather than just run it off the internet. I would make my own quiz. And I used to love watching my, my two getting competitive with each other. And I used to make the table look lovely, 
and I would always pull out a surprise present, at, at, you know, in the afternoon. And yeah, good, good times to look back on. But when you're just suddenly plunged into being on your own, it's it's hard. And I'm not. I'm not looking for sympathy. Please don't. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm. I'm looking for. How do you manage? How do you cope? What do you do? I've tried joining things, and you honestly would not believe. I wanted to join a. Um, a uh, it was a yoga class for older people. Uh, blah blah blah. I can't, I can't remember the exact details, but it was a very slow moving thing, and I thought, well, that would be perfect. I rang and I said, I have fibromyalgia and ME, um, but I would like to to join the class, and. I could not believe, sorry, this T-shirt is really bugging me, sorry. Um, yeah, she emailed me back saying, I'm very sorry, but I can't have you at my class. All I said was, I have fibromyalgia and Emmy. So for all she knew... It was really mild and didn't affect me badly. I mean, that's not the case. I'm the other end. But she didn't know that. And she emailed me back saying, I'm really sorry. My insurance won't cover you at my class. Okay. What on earth do you think is going to happen? Um, and then a while later, she came back and said, um, oh, I've looked into it further. Uh, please do come. Nah. No. You can stick your class where the sun don't shine. Um, petty, Yes. When you are trying to put yourself out there and make friends and you get rejected like that, it's... I'm saying everything's hard today, aren't I? Um, rejection is really difficult to cope with, especially when it's so stupid. Seriously, so stupid. And then the other time that sprang to mind was there was a church lunch uh, club and they had a space. And I said, I'd very much like the space. And they said, OK. And then they um, rang me on the... Um, it was a Thursday club and they rang me on the Tuesday to say will you definitely be attending Thursday and I said I don't know I can't tell you until Thursday morning I've got no idea if I will be able to come what my pain levels will be like whether I will be up to getting down there and she said oh 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 dear that causes us a big problem I said okay she said we have to know for numbers for the lunch we have to know so I said okay do you want to offer the 
the space elsewhere. I'm really sorry, this t-shirt isn't is not sitting right and it's hurting. Um Yeah, she came back with I have to know the numbers today for Thursday. And I said, I've I've got no idea. And I I was honest. And being honest does not pay. And she was so oh, this is an issue, this is a problem. I said, look, do you want to offer the space elsewhere? And she said, yes. <laughs> Without even stopping to think about it. She, yes. Okay. Offer the space elsewhere. No apology. I didn't really care about the lunch. I, I've never eaten until the evening. That's always the time that I've eaten my whole life. And I'd have been happy to go and sit and take my own sandwich, you know, just and have some company. But, oh, no, 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 no. And when you put yourself out there, and then you get rejected like that. Yes, I'm incredibly sensitive. And I've been told many times, oh, that's your problem. You're too sensitive, that's your problem. Or you're too negative, you're far too negative, that's, that's your problem. People are quite happy to tell me what my problem is all the time. <laughs> Um, so, I do try to make friends, and then when you get that kind of response, you get rejected, it makes you feel absolutely horrible. And it puts you off trying to join other clubs in the future or other things. I I found them both quite hard to understand reasons. Um but but there we go. Um I think I'll do another video um, and catch you up with what's been going on um, because the video is getting quite long. Um, I'm just waiting for him to start barking. Back door's open and if he hears anybody... Um, oh, I always... I, I, oh, also, I've been wanting to ask this question. I've been looking, and everybody's thumb I've seen bends. Bends, this is the camera's backwards, bends down. Neither of my thumbs bend down. Why? I just, I don't know. I I observe things and I just find it really random that almost everyone I look at has a thumb that... Uh, my thumb is completely straight. I'm stretching that out as much as I can. My kids laugh at me because I can't... You know, people say... Oh, I'll give you a call. I I literally cannot do that because uh, this finger's this finger's broken. Hang on, the camera's reversing and it's really di really difficult. This finger's broken by netball when I was sixteen, and this finger is. Um, 
also both both of my you can see um my little fingers are so one's broken so one's worse there's no bone there at all and this one is um presumably affected by um arthritis in my hands but i just wanted to ask that question what are your thumbs like do they you know bend bend down just a random question I've got. <laughs> um, I'll come back and catch up with you soon. I'm really hoping I can get up the courage to put this video up. I've tried and tried and tried to put a video up. And each time, either the sound hasn't been right, or the lighting hasn't been right, or... I found every excuse under the sun not to put the video up and I want to break that today. <laughs> so have a blessed day from Puppy Dog who is having a nap now and myself. Namaste my gorgeous friends. God bless. Take care and I will see you very soon I promise. Bye now.